Okay, so here's a couple ways that you can um, figure out if this if your bow is even worth it, like when you're in the shop. So that way you don't end up taking home a bow or like even trying a bow that sucks. So what you want to do first is you want to tighten your bow, of course, um, or the bow that you're testing out. And um, when it's tightened the way you would normally play it, which is hopefully not too tight, um, but not too loose, you, you want to just tap it like see how it bounces off. And I'm not I'm not like lifting it per se. I'm just kind of letting it bounce off my hand and I'm feeling the vibrations in this hand. If it's hard to feel the vibrations, then the bow is probably not very good. Um because you want to be able to get good vibes, you know, from um from the bow. And when you're doing spiccato and stuff, you you're going to want to feel the vibrations. It's going to want to feel good. Um, and then another way that I learned was to test the wood. Um, so what you're gonna do, I'll bring it up close, is you're gonna want to again put your hand like this, rest it in your palm, and you're gonna want to look at it intently <laughs> and see how much you can bend it. Now I'm not being super forceful with this hand. I'm just giving it a slight pinch, like you would when you're like drawing bow, you know. So um, you want to test how much that bends, how it feels when it's bending. Um, it should be hard to bend, but not super duper hard and not super duper weak. Like you'll know your sweet spot. It, you'll feel it. It's good. It feels right. Um, and then, so here's this other bow I have. And this is a completely different bow. It's a lot heavier, even though the calibration is the same. Like when you weigh the bows, it's technically the same, but it feels overall heavier. And that could be from this metal piece right here, or, um, or I mean, sometimes there will be a metal piece up here that will be throwing the bow weight off. Um, so this one is a lot harder to bend um, because I think that even though, even though I said the calibration's correct, I think that this is a little bit thicker. It just feels thicker. And, um, yeah, it's not, it's not as good. The feeling is not as good. Um, so then once you get the, the bad bows out by doing like this, by checking this, to make sure it's the sweet spot, you're going to want to get out your violin and um, find the bouncing place, like the bouncing point, so where you can bounce your bow the best. And if you can't find it pretty quickly, I would not say that's your fault. I would say that's the bow's fault. You're also gonna wanna do like long draws to see how the bow reacts to your violin because um, with different bows, you'll get different sounds. Um, that's, that's actually about it. That's what I would do, just uh, check for spiccato once you have the bows uh, sorted out so you know what's good. Check for spiccato, uh, do long bows, maybe do a couple uh, fast excerpts from a solo or something. Um, and most of all, know what you're going into the shop for. Like if you're looking for what you're looking for. Um, that's, that's about it.